<laughs> well, it's uh, very inventful. <laughs> uh, started very well after we finished the season properly last season. Started well. Then uh, really uh, things didn't go quite well for us after uh, uh, September, October and November. I think mainly due to gelling some new players into the team. They didn't gel as, as, as much as Dave and, uh, and the coaching staff expected and the rest of us. Uh, supporters and myself but again you know we we uh, worked uh, very hard on that uh, to especially Dave you know seeing what needs to be done corrected things and here are, we are back now on, 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 on the board you know as I say we're a little bit down and uh, but we're making it up now and uh, the key thing is as I always say this year is a stabilization stabilize the club that's what club needs more than anything else and uh, give hope to our supporters for and give them s some rewards back for their tremendous support and uh, loyalty and that means the staying up and uh, and uh, consolidate and uh, and uh, building up uh, making the platform to build up for the next season and you mentioned stabilizing there looking at the long term vision for Sheffield Wednesday when you look back at the support you gave Dave Jones that, the, that was a, a strenuous part of the season how do you reflect on that it was, you know, one of those things that you, you called uh, on, on, on leadership, uh, i.e. your chairman of the club, you know, how strong he believes that this needs to be done and how weak he is not to, to concede some of the influences outside, you know, of that, you know. And as I always said, uh, Trevor, uh, my decisions are based what is the best for the club, the club to going forward and avoid, you know, some you know, up and down situation as used to having last, you know, decade or so. So, you know, I resisted that. I, um, Dave is a good, strong manager. He's very experienced. Uh, we all run into a little bit of uh, difficulties, especially if we don't quite hit the right recruitment, what we needed, and that's what we did. And David is the first one to raise the hand of that. But uh, we knew that we, we have a good manager there. I know we will we'll sort things out, and that's where we are. So I resisted some of those wobbling you know, time when people really thought maybe I should make the change. Because there's a lot of pressure on chairman, especially in the media as well, perhaps. Yeah, of course, you know, especially I think I surprised a lot of people because they, 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 they labeled me before that I easily changed the manager, but they don't understand the, all my changes were done for what was the best for the club at that time. I don't like to make changes, but if it's needed, I'll make changes with no difficulty. Actually, I demonstrated that last season, towards the end of the last season. And now things are looking much brighter. Form has picked up. You know, we've got on a good unbeaten run. One defeat in 12, and everything looks a lot, lot stronger. Well, this is what it's all about, you know. That's that's what you want to give to your supporters who are so loyal, you know. And and and, and to be honest with you, asked me earlier, uh, one of the most positive influence on me was not to make the change because I didn't think it's the right thing. But supporters overall, majority of supporters, really were calm. They didn't panic. They 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 because I think they trusted me. They knew that I know what needs to be done, and uh, they left it in my hands. Okay, so. So, you know, that's what we did. And uh, again, in the re you know, the, the time today is telling the story. You know, it was the right thing to do. And Dave is a strong, experienced manager. He'll take us there where we need to go. And, uh, and I'm glad we, 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 we did what we did. So things heading in the right direction on the pitch, off the pitch. You know, the support has been outstanding this season. It's incredible, you know, that's what I says, you know, they, they never panic uh, much, of course, you know, you travel for so many hours away, supporters, you want to see your, your club winning and at home, you know, and didn't happen, you know, for some time. And, uh, uh, but we all knew what's happened there. The players didn't, we, we did bring the players, we did spend the money, we, we brought certain players, but for some reason or another, just didn't gel as much as we all expected. And that means that Dave Jones didn't become bad manager overnight, okay? And uh, he did, you know, so we had to be patient, and supporters gave that support, which was very important to me at that time. It was a difficult time, and I needed, you know, support from them, at least a signal from them to say, well, you do it, what, what, what is right thing to do, and we'll be get behind you. That's the message I was getting, and that's exactly what took the place. And that's where we are, where we are. And with the second highest supported 
club in the championship. How does that make you feel as chairman? Well, it puts a lot of positive pressure on me. That means we got to move the club forward. This club is not 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 really to stay where it is. It's got to move forward. It's got to s at least now stabilize and give the sign to support that we're going to build on that, you know, and do better next season. And uh, that's what it's all about. You got to give supporters a reward for that. And uh, the first place I didn't come here to maintain where we are, you know, and we demonstrated already. We cleaned the club. You know, we have a good uh, good team off the pe off the field we got good team uh, competitive team now on the field and we need just to build on that and uh, and uh, you have to do it for your supporters they're the one who, who who own the club on the end of the day they own they're the one you know that 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 needs those kind of rewards because they're giving you rewards uh, all all season long whether you're you have good game or bad game they're still there on the cold ugly weather which we had plenty of that this year they're there with, with the undivided uh, loyalty and support. It's been over two years now since you joined Sheffield Wednesday. It's been a, a quick journey in many ways, but a long one in others, perhaps. Yeah, a lot of things happened, you know, and uh, overall a lot of good things happened, you know, with the club. And, uh, you know, I hope uh, supporters recognizing that. And as I always say, the time will come when uh, when I'll finish my journey. And uh, that will be the time when, when, uh, when, when things are in good shape and when things are in better shape than when I took it over. That doesn't mean I'll leave tomorrow, but uh, it's a possibility one day that again, Trevor, I will go away. But once when that happens, you know, club will be left in good shape and in good hands. And that's what you said from day one, to be fair. Absolutely right, and that's really that's the way I am. You know, I I don't remember what I said, but I, I always tell the truth. You know, so the, once when you tell the way you feel, once you tell the truth, you don't have to worry. And that's that's my character. That's the way I am. You know, I came here to do positive and good things for this club and I'm not going to let it go till I don't see those things happen. So for now, onwards and upwards? Well, absolutely, for now, you know, we've got to win the next game against uh, against uh, uh, Nottingham Forest and uh, take you know, and secure ourselves and again stabilize and consolidate and uh, start to make the plans uh, for the next season. Next season is around the corner, there's only two months left now before in this season, so it goes, goes so we start to think about the next season as well very soon.